hello everyone welcome back to TLT studio today we're going to take a look at simultaneous equations we're going to look at the substitution method all right so the first thing we will do is to label the equation so we're going to call this one equation one we're going to call the other one equation 2 all right so that's the very first step to, is to label the equation all right so we have equation 1 and we have equation 2 all right now what you're going to do is you're going to choose one of the equation because remember these are this is two equation in one Right, so you're going to choose one of the equation and then you're going to make that equation that you choose you're going to make y the subject all right so we're going to choose equation one which is the top equation so we're going to have 2x plus y equals 7 now from here we're going to make y the subject in order to get y by itself we're going to have to move the 2x so this is a positive 2x so we're going to minus 2x and remember whatever we do on one side we do it on the next basic principle so that is zeroed out so we now have y equal 7 minus 2x alright now we're going to sub we're going to sub y equal 7 minus 2x into equation 2 now you can choose from this point here you can choose any one of the equation to sub y into it so you're going to Put y in one of the equations so bear in mind this is the substitute method now we're going to substitute y equals 7 minus 2x into equation 2 so what this means you're going to put this value here for y into into equation 2 in order to find x all right so we're going to have no no we're going to have x minus 2y equal 1 and remember this is equation 2 so we're going to now sub y equal 7 minus 2x into equation 2 so we now have x minus 2 and this is where we're going to put in y which is 7 minus 2x equal 1 x Let's write that over. X minus fourteen plus because bear in mind negative multiply by negative give you positive two times two give you four and it's x so you're gonna put back the x equal one all right so from here now we're going to get we need to get x by itself so we're going to move the 14 so x minus 14 plus 14 that is zeroed out plus 4x equal 1 plus 14 and the reason why we add 14 over the next side because whatever you do on one side you do it on the next all right let's go down all right so from here we now have x plus 4 x equal 15 and from here we're just solving for x so this is going to have this is going to be 5x equal 15 
and you're going to divide by 5 divide by 5 therefore 5 into that 5 into that 3 therefore x equal 3 all right so we now have the value for x all right so we now have the value for x so we need to find y all right so x is 3 we need to find y so we're going to sub x equal 3 into equation 1 as I said, you can choose any any one of the equation to do the substitution in. Any one. But we like to work with the some some persons not comfortable working with negative numbers. So whatever you're comfortable with, you go with it, which is the positive. Alright? So we're going to have 2x plus y equal 7 so now we're going to substitute the value of of x so we have 2 times 3 plus y equal 7 so this is going to be 2 times 3 which is 6 plus y equal 7 and from here we're just going to get y by itself so we're going to minus the 6 from one side then we're going to minus 6 from the other side whatever you do on one side you do it on the next alright so this is going to leave us with y equal 1 alright y equal 1 so therefore when x equal 3 y equal 1 alright so what we're going to do now we're going to check the answers because remember x and y are no longer unknown so we can substitute these values here and they should equal they should equal to 7 and it should equal to 1 all right so 3 so x is 3 and y is 1 so 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 7 so this is correct x is 3 minus 2 times y which is 1 so this is going to be 2 times 1 which is 2 so 2 minus 3 is equal to 1 so there there you have it this equation is correct so the answer is x equal 3 when y equal 1 thank you so much for watching have a wonderful day.